This laptop right here is a Gateway NV55C. This laptop is a mid-range laptop from roughly 2010 to 2011, so that makes it roughly 13 years old. And today I'm going to be gaming on it. This laptop has a Intel i3-370M CPU, 4GB of DDR3 RAM running at 1066MHz, and the GPU is the iGPU on the Intel CPU, so rather... Well, you'll see later. <laughs> the boot drive and the game drive on this laptop are SSDs. The game drive is going through USB 2.0 though. So, the first game on the list is Fall Guys, and the game was at 720p, which is the lowest resolution the game supports, and it was also on the absolute lowest settings. And the game was getting roughly 6 frames per second. So... Yeah, I'll let you ch decide what you think of that, but um, my conclusion of it already is horrible. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> okay, and there's not really more to see. It was literally just a slideshow. It didn't really improve at all. And I should also add, the RAM was maxed out and so was the iGPU. So it might have ran better if there was a tad more RAM, but again, I don't have any more RAM. This has 4GB, not 8, so there's not much I can do about it. Bioshock Infinite at 480p on the very low settings was running at roughly 12 frames per second, which is very bad. I was expecting this game to run far better on the CPU and GPU, like at least 30 frames per second, not... 12. That is impressively bad. I've never seen Bioshock Infinite run so bad. I also tried 240p on the very low settings, and it as well was very bad. It only got roughly 20 frames per second. Yes, that is a improvement over 480p, but that's still very bad performance, and the visuals were extremely bad as well. Keep in mind, that is a lower resolution than most phones were from 2010. Yeah, not very good. Roblox at 1366x768 resolution on the lowest settings was getting roughly 17 frames per second. I should also add, this was on a somewhat easy Roblox game to play, Natural Disasters. So, that is really unimpressive. I also tried 800 by 600 resolution, and it was actually able to break 30 frames per second. Barely, but it was able to break 30 frames per second for the most part, which is, I guess slightly impressive from the previous results we've seen so far on this, but it's still not very good at all. I also tried Roblox Arsenal at 800 by 600 and that game was getting roughly 35 frames per second, so at least it was a 30 plus FPS experience on average, but still not very good. Sort of a trend with this laptop. The original Portal at 1366x768 on the low settings was not even reaching 30 frames per second, it was only at roughly 27. Yes, I know you could lower the resolution down, but keep in mind this is a really old game that runs on basically anything and it's barely able to even get 25 frames per second at 720p. That is, um, yeah. Not very good, at all. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Minecraft Java had a really bad time, so due to the lack of OpenGL on this laptop, the newest version of Minecraft Java I could play is 1.16.5, and I was using the Sodium mod with the Phosphor and Lithium mods as well, on the absolute lowest settings at 1366 by 768 and the game was only getting roughly 15 frames per second with huge setters. Yeah, that is very bad. Like, very, very bad. <laughs> Minecraft Bedrock Edition at 1366x768 on the newest version, yes, this version of the game actually supports the graphics drivers on this laptop, which is nice, so I can actually play with the new fancy cave updates. Though at the lowest settings, besides the render distance was at 8 chunks, which is actually quite high, and overall the game was getting between 30 and 45 frames per second, which is actually far exceeding my expectations, and to far exceed my expectations even more when I had the render distance set to 6, it was in the 50s in most of the time in the frame rate, so if you wanted a higher frame rate, you could just lower the render distance down, but I would prefer to leave it at 8 chunks render distance because I like to be able to see a pretty far distance. 
I'm pretty impressed. This is the game that actually ran the best on the list. I would have expected a game like Bioshock Infinite or Portal to far exceed the performance of Minecraft, but nope. Minecraft is the champion in terms of getting the best FPS today. And now for the games that don't work. So Rocket League is the first game that didn't work, and all that happened was the RAM usage went up to 100% usage, and the game didn't open. Nothing happened. It just went over and crashed in the background, so yeah, that didn't work. Battlebit Remastered also didn't work. What happened is, when I tried to join the shooting range, the game would just crash. There's not really much to it besides that, it just crashed. <laughs> and I couldn't actually get the game to not crash, so yep, not much to see there. And the next game that didn't work is Beam NG Drive. It just went over and crashed immediately as well, and just gave me an error saying it doesn't support the DirectX version of this graphics card, so it just didn't open. So the conclusion of this laptop is, if you're going to be web browsing, or you're going to be just playing a game like Solitaire, or maybe Minecraft would be pushing it, if you're playing games like that, then yes, this laptop is going to be just fine. But if you're going to be playing games like Portal, which should be able to run fine on this, or really anything besides those few games I just mentioned, yeah, you're going to have a really bad time. So, only get this laptop for web browsing. Yes, the CPU is actually pretty decent, but the iGPU in it is the thing that really isn't good at all. Either way, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like. If you disliked the video, you can of course leave a dislike. And if you're new, you could subscribe. Why not? We're almost at 500. Either way, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.